Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Thursday, October 14th. Tesla is currently allowing only drivers with a 100% rating on their so-called good driver system score access to the latest version of the full self-driving beta program. Quite the mouthful. However, it has leaked that the automaker also allowed an investor access with a very poor rating. Ross Gerber, a wealth and investment manager who is also a Tesla investor and very vocal on Twitter, complained earlier this week about his Tesla driving safety score, touting his own personal pristine driving record contrasted with a score of 37 out of 100, according to Tesla. After he complained, he was granted access and began filming himself driving. As far as we know, this is the first time that someone outside of Tesla's early access program and without a 100 out of 100 driving score received access. Gerber said that he believes Tesla sent him the update because, quote, everyone in the media follows him and that he can spread information about the update. Unfortunately, this puts some doubt on Tesla's claim that only the safest drivers should have access to the technology first. Tesla's holdings in cryptocurrency has gained by $1 billion. Earlier this year, Tesla invested $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. They began taking orders for cars using Bitcoin, but later retracted the offer, citing environmental concerns over Bitcoin's digital mining. Bitcoin's value has been fluctuating widely, but it has recently settled to around $58,000 per unit. This puts Tesla's position of roughly 43,200 units at about $2.5 billion, an increase of $1 billion, as first noted by Bitcoin Magazine. As if Tesla wasn't making enough money as it stands, the automaker's goal with this cryptocurrency stake is to have an alternative to holding money as its cash reserves grow. Tesla is one of the biggest companies to have made this move to cryptocurrency, and analysts expect that more blue-chip companies would follow. Tesla has released a new mobile app update with a few small features, but most notably progress towards a remote live view from autopilot cameras. In the new update version 4.2, it introduces new bigger widgets to iOS and some new Powerwall features, but some of the code suggests that Tesla is working to give access of the feed from the cameras to the app itself. This upcoming feature builds on Tesla's Century Mode, which records events around the vehicle, typically when parked. This mode has become quite popular when owners return to their car to see it vandalized, and they sometimes can identify the aggressors with the use of the cameras. With the new coding, it might be possible for owners to view what's happening around their car in real time. A Tesla Model 3 is now considered the best-selling used car in the U.S. It's so popular that it even sometimes sells for a higher price than when it was new. It would appear that the current chip shortage affecting the auto industry has trickled down into the used car market. It can be so difficult to get a new car due to the limited production that many have turned to the used market and inventories are also low around there. According to iccars.com, the Model 3 is the best-selling used car on the market in September, taking an average of 16 days to sell and holding an average price of $47,453. It's not exclusive to IC cars either. On Tesla's own website, they're selling a 2019 Model 3 long-range all-wheel drive with just over 9,000 miles on it for $60,700. Back when it was new in 2019, that same car would have sold for $58,400 with the added options. This means that Tesla is currently selling used cars for more than they originally sold when they were new. And this isn't the only example on Tesla's site either. Electrek takes a look at six ways EV owners can save money charging their cars. If you're one of the lucky EV owners out there, you're in good company. Pretty much all of us at Electrek are EV owners as well, many of us with more than one. Here's a look at the topics in the full article. Home charging during off-peak hours. Run your battery between 20 and 80%. In cold climates, charge the battery right before you leave. Charge in the shade during the heat. And investing in rooftop solar. You can find this and more tips on electrek.co. And in Electrek's Green Energy Brief, U.S. Secretary of the Interior, Deb Holland, yesterday unveiled the path towards the future of offshore wind leases. The Biden-Harris administration's goal to deploy 30 gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030 is heating up. The Bureau of Ocean Energy Management will hold up to seven new offshore lease sales for federal waters. Current offshore candidates are California, Oregon, Maine, New York, the Carolinas, and the Gulf of Mexico. Doesn't really narrow it down, does it? 
we might very well have a windmill-dotted coastline all across the USA. German home energy company Sonen and my local utility here in Utah, Rocky Mountain Power, have been collaborating on virtual power plants. With enough homes with individual energy storage systems on the grid, the rest of the grid can benefit from flexible power consumption by tapping into the combined homes making a virtual power plant. Rocky Mountain Power announced that they will retrofit thousands of solar homes with battery storage units over the next year. Local contractor ES Solar is already making installations and the program is open to 50,000 existing solar customers. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.